fucking Vegas. You must be crazy. Knock over a Vegas casino? Unless you can fly, you haven't got a prayer. John Peter McAllister, the only Occidental American ever to achieve the martial arts discipline of a ninja. Once part of a secret sect, he wanted to leave, but was marked for death by his fellow ninjas. He's searching for a daughter he didn't know he had. Pursued by Okasa, once the master's student, now sworn to kill him. The master found a new student. That's me, Max Keller. But we knew Okasa would be behind us, in the shadows, ready to strike again. Hi, I'm Max Keller. You'll have to excuse me. I'm about to jump off a mountain. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. I could just take your word for it. A ninja must be able to descend any structure with great speed before his enemy can throw a shuriken. Of course. I'll time you. <sighs> that was pretty fast. Hey, what'd you think, old fella? Where'd he go? Behind you. Expect the unexpected. Your descent was pretty fast. You'll go faster when you have to. Forget about the lessons. We're talking Vegas. I know a showgirl there. Tracy, you're going to love it. Hey, what's that guy doing? He's coming up too fast. Okay, Henry? Great. Can't get it started. That moron could have killed us. Stick her on the trunk. He works at the Grand Palace Casino. Good. That'll make it easier to find him, because he's going to pay for the damage. Every cent. One day I'll control that boy's temper. <laughs> Maybe.
cutting room doors. Counting room, six seconds. Elevator, 12 seconds. You go find your friend Tracy. I'll look around for that car. If you find that guy... Yeah, I'll call for help. I'll hear you. operation must be planned to the second. There's not going to be any uh, operation if you don't get to Tracy. Look, I'll deal with the girl. If we don't work as a team, it'll fall apart. I won't tell you again, Craig. Tracy. All right, that's good. That's real good. Okay, uh, let's take it from that turn over here. Okay? Okay. And when you come out of it, really control it. Stretch out of that, okay? Good job. Okay. Mercenary job we did in Bolivia. I went up to San Francisco for a few days. And she was dancing in a show, some modern jazz thing. Really blew me away. What happened? Doesn't matter. What matters is I never thought I'd see her again. And here I am in Vegas, playing a little blackjack with Greg. And there she is. That's when the thing came together in my mind. Only the lady won't cooperate. She'll do anything I ask. Yeah? You better find another way of asking. Let's go. Good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really great. Uh, take 15, and we'll run the finale with the girls when you get back. Right. See ya. I don't know if I can fit in well. I think so. Hi, right. Tracy. Tracy, we need to talk. Blake, get away from me. Hey, we're running out of time. We need that key, and you're the only one that can get it for us. I told you. I don't want any part of this or you. Find somebody else. No, there isn't anyone else. There never was. I never wanted to see you again. Well, I knew where to find you. Always. You know too much now, Tracy. I won't do it. Look, you're not listening to me. Try listening to this. Leave her alone. Max. Take a hike, pal. This doesn't concern you. If you want to talk, I'm sure you could do it without breaking the lady's arm. She's a good listener. I said get lost. And I said let her go. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. What's the problem here? Hey, no problem. Just a misunderstanding. A wager that went the wrong way. Right? Yeah, right. No sweat, officer. Come on, Tracy. Now, let's go. It's crazy. It's time to get back. Where the hell was that guy? We'll find out. Let's 
company you keep? Who is it? Randy Blake. He's with some kind of convention at the hotel. He tried to pick me up a couple times. Sounded like you knew him a little better than that. No. It seems like you were always rescuing me from one problem or another. Always getting yourself in trouble. It's a bad habit I can't seem to break. Don't try. How long are you going to be here? A couple of days. How about you? What's next? Broadway? The only chorus line I'd be in is off, off, off Broadway. <laughs> Come on, you were great in there. I thought New York was always a dream. It was. You're right. It still is. Dad's a hoofer. Mom was in the chorus. Kid sisters in lights in London. My turn. What happened? From the Grand Palace Casino to West 44th Street. Why not? Just believe you can do it. Things happen. Finding that out for myself lately. Did you ever hear from your father? Not for a long time. I never really knew what happened. Hey, Mr. Sykes. Well, uh, my mother died in a light plane crash, along with my older brother. And the case of Johnny Walker, the pilot was working on. I'm so sorry. So was I. After that, my dad just went away. You know where he is? I suppose we could find each other if you wanted to. I'm sorry, Max. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. You haven't. <laughs> it's so good to see you. And you, Max. Who are you? I'm a friend of your mother's. Obviously. <laughs> That's enough, Susie. Max, this is Susie, my 12 going on 30 daughter. Part-time bodyguard. <laughs> Honey, Max and I practically grew up next door to each other. So tell me about yourself, Max. Well, Traveling I... Traveling alone? Married any kids? <laughs> Wait a second. No, I'm not married, and I don't have kids. But I am traveling with someone. Very interesting guy. I think you'd like him. Why? Because he could do some pretty darn amazing things. Like what? Crawl up the side of a building. Spider-Man? Incredibly strong. The Hulk. Martial arts? Karate? Like in Revenge of the Ninja? Close. <laughs> <laughs> Can't seem to get away from it. Far out! <laughs> Looks like a happy table. Hello, Susie. Bug off. Susie. She didn't mean that. You shouldn't be mingling with the customers between rehearsals, Tracy. You know that. I, I was only seeing an old friend. I think it's about time you get back to work. Now. Be seeing you again, Susie. You know some real winners. I'm sorry, Max. I'll see you later, okay? You be good. Nice guy. He's got the hots for the mom. You're cute. You should have stuck around. When? When you and my mom were friends. But it's not too late. Go for it. <laughs> Even sounds like me. M16 
M16s. Passing through. I knew Vegas was going to be exciting. Winter eight, the line, one black winter, man, these two, one of our goal, honey, please Coming out, you'll let it up and you're going to have to get your own. It's the third 21 of yours in a row. I thought I'd count it. We found our wild driver. Name's Craig. Tried to run me down. You OK? I'm OK. Split that hand. The trunk of that convertible gave me a little bit more than I bargained for. Ammo, fuses and timers for explosives, four M16s. Anything else? Isn't that enough for you? Stay on that. Did you see Tracy? Yeah. She's in trouble. What kind of trouble? I don't know. A guy named Randy Blake? Tall? Blonde? Powerfully built? Don't tell me. Ninjas are also clairvoyant. Photograph in the convertible. To Craig, signed Blake. Must have been in Nam together. Guns, ammo, and a link to Blake. Now, what does Blake want with Tracy? We're gonna find out. Thanks for including me. Catch me. But I'm on a streak. I'm on the streak. You stay lucky with the girls. You gotta get you some action. I'm not looking. Oh, see you later, hon. We'll be around. Don't ask. So what do we do? I'm gonna try and get a look at Craig's personnel file. See if you can get into Blake's room. How am I gonna do that without any keys? Charm. Lots of charm. This should do nicely. Say, uh, Sal, I need a key to room 906. You know I can't give up a key without authorization. You know that. Sal, give me a break, huh? Guy calls up, says his TV's on the fritz, and then goes out. I got eight more TVs I gotta fix before lunch. Some people, you know? Look, uh... Max Keller, you remember me? Just let me in, okay? Well, I, I, I guess if you're here, it must be okay. Of course it's okay. Trust me. Okay. Here. See you later. Thanks, Sal. Here's your keys. I 
check it out, Weston. All right. What about Tracy? There's a way to handle her, so she'll do anything I ask. Stop worrying, Weston. I don't like negative vibrations. Clockwork. It's gonna be just like clockwork. Where have you been? Some old guy busted into the convertible. He must have seen the weapons. He was on that road with the kid this morning. I want you to cut out the booze, Craig. Are you crazy? Want to have the cops in Vegas in here? He heard everything! We'll worry about him and the old man later. Don't ever manhandle me like that again. If you hadn't run that kid off the road, he wouldn't have been in here. Don't push it too far. What do we do? Okay, we'll step things up. Can you set the explosives at the dam tonight? Yeah, I can do it. Okay, we're gonna step the operation up to tonight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All that's down. Thank you. You look a little green. So would you if you'd just been shot at. Maybe not. Who was it? Craig. So what'd you find out? He used to be on security here at the casino. Got fired for being drunk on the job. Plan to the casino. Found it in Craig's room. What are all these passageways? Some series of underground tunnels. Baked them four boxes of explosives out of a suitcase. Now, there were fuses and timers in, in, in Craig's trunk. What does that add up to you? Probably. You must be crazy. Knock over a Vegas casino? Why not? It's got style. Especially if you're a one-time crack commando unit out of NAM. We're kind of vulnerable. Yeah, we're well, better than uh, in the casino than the dark alley. Now, what do you suppose Tracy's part is? Trying to force her into something. Something to do with the robbery. Well, we better talk to her and fast. We heard your page. We were coming to find you. This is my friend, John Peter McAllister. Hey, what's happening? Susie. I've got Susie. What? Blake. He just called me. They've kidnapped her. If I don't do what they want... What do they want you to do? Now, we know about the robbery. It's a key. I don't know what it opens. Farlin, the assistant manager, keeps it on his key ring. I'm supposed to have dinner in his penthouse and get it. When? Tomorrow night. That's when the robbery goes down. Do you have any idea where Susie could be? I'm not sure. She gave me a couple of clues. I think she's at a warehouse across town. I wrote down the address. But if you call the police... We're not going to call the police. Now, you sit tight. We'll be back. With Susie. the warehouse, but there was no sign of Susie. There was no sign of anyone.
little early for Halloween, isn't it? Ease over to your partner. One move, and my buddy kills him. Search him. <laughs> Real cute. Carry a lot of little tricks, don't you? None of them are going to do you any good now. Get down. Get down! <laughs> Tragic. Two transients trapped in a warehouse. Trying to find shelter from the outside world. Right in the shadow of all that decadence. But these things do happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen, Craig. We're going to meet again. Out of the shadows when you least expect it, I'll be there. Yeah. Somehow, I don't think so. So long, pal. What changed your mind about our date? You did? I know an act when it's played out for me. No act. say she had no choice. Unless she is part of it. Max, you did it again. You fell for every word. She was scared. That was real. I could feel it. If she lied about the warehouse, she could have lied about the day of the robbery. Count on it. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's get there.
I'll deal with Tracy. Auxiliary power on at four in a minute. Everything's under control. Give me the map. You get the tracing in the penthouse. I did what you wanted. Now, where's my daughter? Doesn't matter anymore. Not to you. Not now. An elevator. So that's how they got out. Bye, honey. away half the las vegas police department is swarming around down there right now you scared kid i don't blame you unless you can fly you haven't got a prayer put your arms around me hold on tight don't let go sorry about this tracy i really am well kid Any last words? So long. Business as usual. They don't waste much time, do they? How is she? In shock. Casino doctor has her on sedation. She's in one of the rooms. That's good. She'll be safe there. Vegas tours. Here's Calico. Here's Adamo. Both ghost towns on the tourist circuit. Right here. Tracy says there's another town. One that no one else knows about. She used to take Susie there on weekends. Susie told her on the phone that she was at our ghost town. Worth a shot. You're calling the Marines. Yeah, you get Susie killed, huh? Well, we could go check it out for ourselves. That's just what I had in mind. I was hoping you'd say that. We've got a score to settle. No, you don't. You got one thing to accomplish. Get that young girl out of there alive. That's all. I understand. I think you do.
Where the hell is he? Hanson will be here. You're all going to jail. You're a bunch of losers. Shut up, kid. I'm just telling you. Enough, Craig. I've had all I'm going to take from that little smart mouth. You're not going to touch her. She was our insurance, that's all. That's right, isn't it? That's right, Shana. Take her out of here. These ex-mercenaries are in this town. They've stolen $2 million, right? Right. One of the biggest heists in Vegas history. And enough to try and kill Tracy. And me. Get to the point. That is the point. I mean, they're ready to kill. I don't think I am. You don't have to. That's what I've been trying to teach you. I don't think a shuriken has much protection against an M16. Don't be so sure. I'm just scared, OK? OK. Is it? Yes. Two million, one hundred thousand and seventy-three dollars. That's great. If we get out of here, at this rate, we could have walked across the state line. An old western town. What do you think about that? Seems familiar. Ghosts of a forgotten dream. There's always a moment to back off. Let me know if it ever comes around. Your turn. Sit on it, creep. The kid got away. Forget it, we haven't got time. Thought you weren't gonna make it, Madison. I wanted to make you sweat. I see you made it. It's been on the radio all night. Just another Blake tactical operation like Nam in the old days. What is this place? Old movie set. Left it standing just for us. Blake and Weston are inside. We're all set.
Sorry I did that, kid. Try me! Very good. See how you like this. Susie, they're gonna kill her. Blake! Is that why Blake turned on you? Yes. Was you trying to help her? Yes. Blake! Come on. Shayna! Get the suitcase! I'm okay. Something eerie about this scene. A town that doesn't exist. It's like we're in a time warp. Seems kind of natural to me. It does? 
heritage. Let's get out of here. Well, what do you mean, heritage? I always wanted to be a cowboy. Really? get mixed up with Blake. A mistake I made about a year ago. Once I knew the man beneath the charm, it was too late, almost. How am I ever gonna thank you, Max? Really thank you. Don't think of something, Mom. Trust me. Boy, jumping over a helicopter. Whew, that was hot. I'm glad you like that. Hey, we got a present for you, Susie, for being such a brave girl. I'm always a brave girl, even to the dentist. What is it? Does this make me a ninja? It's a start. When's my first lesson? Be careful. He'll have you walking on tight ropes and running the four-minute mile before you're 13. Boy, returning the ninjas got nothing on you. <laughs> And you're not the only one who thinks so. Hi there, handsome. <gasps> it's like you got your hands full tonight, old fella.